Okay, this is going to be a little web design trick, and it's using the dreaded marquee tag. So this is uh, here, and it's just your normal tags, your marquee, and then your close mark marquee. Um, it doesn't come under the normal HTML edit, um, elements as uh, as it is now. It's caused so much debate over the years. Um, but anyway, I'm going to tell you about it, and this is uh, this is basically what it does. Um, marquee means just scrolling along so if you have on your website um, something that uh, perhaps news or, or something that you want people to see straight away um, this is uh, one way of doing it I mean normal ways uh, usually web designers probably now including myself would use JavaScript to do it but anyway this is a little trick that can be very easy to implement as well which makes it quite popular uh, from bygone years anyway I am a marquee tag so basically and this is what's uh, gonna happen and when it eventually comes up this is in Google Chrome it was actually Microsoft Internet Explorer that was the first one to come out with this there we go so I am a marquee tag and this will scroll and scroll and scroll um, and that would bore your visitors or your customers or whatever to your site something stupid and it was it would be quite annoying however there is a ways to stop that and if we come out of that and we uh, put some uh, parameters on this and that is loop if we put that loop and many people who are in the program and would know about loops and things like that but anyway put it twice and twice is okay so we'll do that put this up and there we go I am a marquee tag and as we go along you can actually um, from memory because I haven't used this for donkey's years uh, I think you can do your scroll delays and how fast it goes and this type of thing if you're interested and there you go so that's twice and that's fair enough when if you see uh, something on a website twice you don't really mind and it can actually catch the eye but as long as you're not gonna uh, do it time and time again because that really really irritates people anyway you can have things like direction and we'll have that from the right this time so we put that up and there we go from the right and also um, you can have not just text you can actually have if I remember rightly I think you can have images so we'll do this a box uh, box up and we're going to put that in and so we're going to see that and there we go so that's a nice little trick um, it has caused a lot of debate um, among websites and, and uh, web designers uh, many of them I think are quite snobby about this I, d I don't think there's anything really wrong with it if it works it works and why not um, so as other uh, little things you can have uh, direction I think that might be I'll try up uh, this of course is from memory yeah you go that's good <laughs> it's quite good and that'll only go twice as well so everything is controllable um, so I think well why not why why don't you use that you know that's that's a nice little trick it works and uh, even though it was done by Internet Explorer in the beginning, it was to think to counteract the blink text by uh, Netscape Navigator many years ago. Um, the blink text was awful, but this works in Chrome, and I think it even works in Firefox and most browsers. So why not use it if you if you're not into JavaScript and that type of thing? It's an easy thing to implement. Um, so hope you've uh, found something about that. Any comments? So. Anything, questions, just uh, put on the, the video. And uh, thanks for watching and thanks for listening.